We begin with breaking news tonight as search leaders confirmed to CBS 42 that a body has been recovered on Smith Lake in the area where 26 year old Kelsey Starling went missing after a boat crash on the 4th of July. Good evening. I'm Michael Clark. CBS 42 News reporter Robert Sherman is on Smith Lake right now with the latest on the search. Robert. Good evening, Michael. This afternoon, search crews confirmed to us that a body was visually confirmed beneath the surface in the area where Kelsey Starling went missing with the use of underwater cameras. Just moments ago, we had new additional information confirmed that a body was recovered from that area and brought back to shore. But, Michael, for the search crews that have been picking up this effort since Independence Day, it's been a long road with ample challenges. For over three months, crews have intermittently combed Smith Lake searching for the body of 26 year old Kelsey Starling, who was killed in a boating accident the night of Independence Day. <laughs> While the teams have thrown everything they have at the recovery operation, there have been challenges. What makes it even worse is the forest that's down there. There's lots of standing timber down there. Trees measuring up to 100 feet tall tower above the lake bed. And water depths top over 200 feet in some areas. But even with those challenges, hope has persevered. Residents around the lake have been hanging blue ribbons on their docks in honor of Kelsey. The community pitched in to purchase a brand new remotely operated vehicle to aid the search operation. And members of the search team, like Ashton Davis with Houston County Search and Rescue, who went to high school with Kelsey, have refused to give up. We want to bring Kelsey home to her family. Uh, this is not where she's going to stay in forever. And finally, over three months later, a body has been located in the area where Kelsey first went missing. And now, not just located, but recovered in that very same area. The crews tell us that the next step in this process is going to be the identification of the remains that is still pending. But as soon as we gather new information and we have new details to share, we'll alert you through all of our digital platforms. Reporting live on Smith Lake, Robert Sherman, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on. Robert, thank you. We've been covering this story since July. For more information, including exclusive sit downs with Kelsey Starling's family, just visit our website, cbs42.com. You can search Kelsey Starling.